Today on my video blog we will be continuing our theme of floral backdrops for unboxings, which is uh, quite tasteless but effective nonetheless. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Prolima Tech Mega Halims for no particular reason other than I've heard good things about it. I wanted to have a look at it and I was walking around in the warehouse and I saw it, so I grabbed it. So that's, uh, that's, the, that's the whole reason for it. So why don't we see what it says on the box. So this is compatible with 775 and 11, or 1366, pardon me. And that's pretty much all it says. Oh, it weighs 790 grams, holy cow. So that's uh, well over a pound attached to your CPU socket. Now hopefully it has a pretty impressive retention me mechanism, and I'm kind of assuming it does, but we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so first thing you're going to find when you open up the box is your user manual, which shows you everything it's supposed to come with, and it labels everything. So it comes with a heatsink, a couple back plates, an aluminum strip adapter, double end stud with nut, screw nut, aluminum mounting plate, screw loaded... No, okay, you can probably read that. It comes with some thermal compound as well. And here are your installation instructions. So. Let's see, step one is install the back plate and put the screws in, and then step two is apply thermal paste. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Well, we'll try and figure it out as we take this thing out here. So why don't we see what's included first? And if I could get this out, then I'd be able to have a pretty good look at it. Um, okay, well, I think you're supposed to take the heat sink out first. I'm just going to grab that, and then we'll... Yeah, here we go. So you lift this up to get at the accessories, and here they are. So... Let's see, inside here we will find more plastic bags. Oh, there we go. So first there's a Prolimatec thermal compound. It looks an awful lot like Arctic Cooling MX2, which it probably is, rebranded. And then we've got a couple of thumb screws, okay, with springs. Then we have four thumb nuts with no springs. Then we have two back plates. This is a 775 back plate, and this is a 1366 back plate. And then we have... Ooh, what are these? These must be the aluminum mounting strip adapters. Awesome. Not sure exactly how we use those. And then, these are the double-ended uh, thumb... Wow, I guess they'd be screws. So why don't we take out the heatsink itself and have a look. I'm actually not going to attempt to figure out the mounting mechanism on camera because I'm probably just going to end up embarrassing myself if I try and do that. But I just wanted to have a look at the construction of this unit. Okay, so as we pull it out, we can see it's a very, very shiny heatsink, and there's actually a, a foam spacer in between two distinctly different halves of the unit here. So you can see that it's quite a th dense fin arrangement, so you're going to need a fan with, that generates decent static pressure in order to best take advantage of this particular heatsink. Then on the bottom here, you can see these are the... Are those the adapters for these? I can't even tell. No, nope, not going to try. Let's have a look at the bottom of the heatsink. So I'm just going to do the obligatory uh, finger shot where I hold my finger here and you have a look at the reflectiveness. It is clearly not flat, although it is quite polished, but what it does appear to have is a bow to it. So you're going to want to mount a heatsink like this nice and tight in order to take advantage of the incredible mounting pressure you can get with a bowed base. That means it comes out like this. Okay, so then this is six heat pipes in total, all of which make contact quite close to the base of the heatsink. And thank you for checking out my video blog on the unboxing of the Prolimatech Mega Halims.